July 13, 2024, an assassination attempt on a former US president, Donald Trump was executed during one of his campaign rallies to run for president again. The perpetrator was quickly identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks, shooting from a sniper gun on a roof across from the Trump rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Donald Trump miraculously survived the encounter and did not portray cowardice to the ones trying to silence him. He was quickly evacuated from the scene by his elite security team and the rally was called off. From this exclusive body cam police footage, never seen before, our team at Sound of the Police has obtained the latest crucial piece of information released that attempts to shed light on exactly what transpired on that fateful day and what efforts were put in place to stop Thomas Crooks. To find out exactly how all this happened and how the police moved swiftly to get on top of the situation, stay tuned and watch the video till the end as we reveal everything in detail on what exactly happened. My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans, I hate Trump, and guess what? You got the wrong guy. The hunt for the sniper is now underway. He will later be identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks. A sniper gunfire was exchanged as soon as Trump security saw where the sniper was located. He was identified to be stationed on top of this building and police are now rushing to apprehend him. The sniper that saw him did not miss his shot. The police wanted to make sure the threat has been neutralized. What follows are the events of exactly what happened. Butler Township Police are now trying to get on top of the building to where the sniper was last spotted. It's truly an intense moment. Butler Township Police are now in panic, desperately trying to get on top of the building. At this point, it is still unclear whether the sniper was hit or he is still lurking above the building. The worst part is if the sniper can see them, but Butler Township Police can't see him. Backup from more tactical units are also on the way currently, and it will only be a matter of a few minutes before the entire area is filled with law enforcement.
The situation is tense. The target has to be neutralized. More tactical units are fortunately arriving at the scene. The situation is now starting to gain the upper hand towards the law enforcement. There are no ladders around, so the police have to rely on each other to get on top of the building. By carrying themselves up is the only option at this point. Viewer discretion is advised on this scene as officers can be seen standing over Crook's lifeless body on the roof. Officers also seem to be confused about why the roof of the American Glass Research AGR building, where Crook's shot from, was unmanned. There also appears to be uncertainty about whether the shooter was neutralized and why the shooter wasn't taken out before he opened fire. The footage captures Crooks toward the end as officers surround his body after counter snipers fatally shot him. Mike, you all good? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Leave. Checking our guys, make sure we're all squared away. Trying to pumping. I heard some shots. All right, I heard some snaps close by us when we were peeling out of there. So just make sure nobody's fucking close. Make sure nobody's fucking whacked. I'm not with 1305, so I'm calling one in custody, HR building south, rooftop. first Secret Service agent arrives on the scene to indeed confirm the man attempting to assassinate Donald Trump has been neutralized. Any assassination attempt on a president, especially the US president which is the most powerful country in the world, has a direct order to shoot to kill. the guys fucking over here. To I told him that the fucking the Secret Service. I told him that fucking Tuesday. I told him to post fucking guys over here. Why, why, why? Because I thought we were going to post guys over here. I, I, I talked to the Secret Service guys. They're like, yeah, no problem. We're going to post guys over here. No, I, 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 was, I was running up when the shots got fired. And, uh, um, so he shot... 
Dude, who shot him? Mr. Standby. I don't know. I, I came around. Yeah, Greg. I don't know what this crowd's going to do. Can't find Renault. I can't buy Sentinel. Okay. I need head count. Fire cop road entrance, too. That's where all the foot traffic came in and out. I have no idea. All I heard were shots. All I they were ringing out. All I heard were shots. And then they haven't covered our I will tell you. I shot on the roof. I heard sniper shoot. That's all. Who was where? Who was there? Who was there? Who was there? Who was against the fence right there. Who was against the fence right there? Well, the issue guy was right there. Was there a guy or like, was there one of your guys or was there a, a Secret Service guy over here? So I saw everyone start surrounding the building. No, no, before all had a shirt. Yeah, they're going to make it here and set up a perimeter, whatever they can do. Okay, so they're going to make it here and set up a perimeter. There's also another guy. Bravo 1 is coming. And I have requested North Coast Search Council. Right now, from Greenwood, five minutes. Copy that, five minutes. The police now attempt to enter the building to be certain that the target has been truly neutralized and that no more danger is lurking from within the building. There might be a bomb or another sniper hiding, waiting for the smoke to clear, and they make an escape.
So, thank you. Thank you. I was hoping that's what you were doing. Yeah, I was just trying to. I of AGR? He thinks he should be broadcasting shit like that. He shouldn't be on the radio at all. That's right there. Whoever probably did the show was probably because he was on the ground and had to be. But you had to be back long enough to see. So I don't know what. The area has now been swept clear and the police are confident there are no more threats. Obviously this bizarre incident has opened a can of worms and a lot of investigations are currently ongoing. It's highly unlikely anyone can get away with this kind of crime. It's safe to say Donald Trump is alive and well by the time we're making this video. This is exactly how all the events unfolded immediately after the shooting and Thomas Matthew Crooks was fatally killed by the police. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving us a like and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling police webcam footage right here on Sound of the Police. It's like Trump could be in that helicopter. He, he might have not left on in his motorcade. Uh, yeah, it might have been a deep boy. Yeah.